Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Eclipse Growing, and today we have a special surprise. Uh, I want to go ahead and make sure we, everybody knows. Uh, I do want to make sure that any time we get propagation, every time that we get uh, germination, every time we get any kind of Asian with our plants, I'm going to try to make sure you guys get updated because growing these things is super special to me. Now, I primarily focus on vegetables uh, with a few flowers mixed in between. Uh, but today, uh, I've actually done a video on this one before, it kind of got messed up, but our radishes actually germinated, okay? And they didn't just germinate, they germinated really well. Now, I have a few pictures uh, that I'll be showing you guys of the original radish plants that I just planted straight into a pot and let those go. Now, I did a review on, on the Jiffy Seed Starter, and these things, let me tell you, uh, make a world of difference. I didn't have any problems germinating any of the radish seeds that I had before. However, the difference in the plant was uh, was extreme, okay? Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to show you uh, is the lids that go on these. So these are the lids that go on top of these. And let me show you these radishes. <sighs> Here we go. Now, this of course goes on top and as it grows, uh, it keeps the moisture and any heat uh, in these, uh, allowing for a perfect uh, atmosphere for this for these seeds to start. Now, the amazing part isn't the the fact that we actually have germination going; it's how quickly these primary leaves actually started to come up. Uh, now, there are a few of these. Let's see if we can find one here that are actually starting to grow. Now, as you can see, these are actually bunched up far too much. Um, once they get their first uh, set of leaves and I transplant these, I will actually be uh, thinning these out quite a bit to make sure there's roughly one plant per seed start. Um, now, this again was just kind of something that I did um, as an experiment to see how well this would germinate and it seems to do really well. Um, now, here we have some tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Now right here, let's see if we can get that focus. You can see right in between the leaves, right here, we have this little bud right here. And that is actually the start of our uh, secondary leaves or our true leaves. So these are actually almost ready to go. Uh, maybe maybe about a week or so, we'll get uh, quite a few leaves going and the, prime, uh, the true leaves will actually be sprouting out, getting ready to go. Um, when that happens, I will be able to weed it, uh, or uh, not weed it, but thin it out a bit. Um, if I'm lucky, I might be able to transplant those that I thin out, as I, I do have a large basin tub that I will be planting these in. Um, but the difference is staggering, okay? Um, these actually have fairly thick stalks going on. They're not super leggy. Um, they do have some color here at the base. Uh, which is really beautiful for any kind of radish. Uh, radishes will actually start right up here towards the base, and once they start, uh, they'll just form a, uh, basically a ball. Um, and yeah, that's that's uh, that's one of the lovely ones. Now there is one, only one, uh, problematic pod that I had. Um, now if we take a look over here, we actually didn't have anything germinate right here, but. Considering how many plants germinated, we only had the one that didn't. Um, I would say I would definitely say that this was a success. I really enjoy the JV brand, and I hope I'm not. I, I won't even lie. I actually do hope that there are other better kits out there, and I will be using those to germinate more seeds. And we'll have some more videos on that later. Uh, if you do want to follow our journey, watch these babies grow all the way until we harvest them. If you want to see other reviews that we do on other types of soils and soil mediums, seed starters and stuff like that, hit subscribe below. And until next time, see you later.